Hi everyone and welcome to our latest Volcano Bay update from Universal Orlando Resort. We're taking a start in a little different place this time at Turkey Lake, uh, off Turkey Lake Road here. We're taking a look at Krakatau Mountain. Uh, as you can see the scaffolding is coming down rapidly. Uh, on this side, this little cut into the volcano, we can see the slides, the uh, capsule slides. Uh, those are three capsule slides that are going to drop you out of a, uh, a little capsule, obviously, and uh, down into the slide. Lots of details uh, going in on that. Over here to the right, we have the Maku and Puhi uh, slides. We're actually going to have the translation for all these slides in the post related, uh, tied with this video. So if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to click the post link in the description to find out more uh, for the translations. A lot of them are Maori or Polynesian, just Polynesian general uh, translations. Not 100% accurate, but something fun I decided to do. So getting away from the normal slides, from the slides we've been showing you for a while now, and taking a look at some more details going on within the park, uh, we take a look, we can see that temple theming with more trees going into place. Just a couple buses passing right now. But we can see more trees right here going into place. All around this area of the site. So those trees uh, have been growing. We showed you them a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago actually at this point. Uh, and all of uh, when they were just like kind of wrapped up sitting up. And here over here we can see some more trees that have gone in in a different section covering that one structure we were showing you under construction last week which now appears to have a like thatched kind of bamboo style hay style roof so this here is Taniwa tubes they actually have some water flowing in them right now we're actually projecting them to be called Taniwa tubes None of these names are official yet though, by the descriptions and what we're seeing on site, uh, this would be our best guess for this set of four slides, just based on the description. So we're seeing those, and then uh, back here in the volcano, those capsule slides I was telling you about, uh, those are, one of them is actually called the Ko Okiri, I believe is the pronunciation, uh, and that's the one that's going to go through a different pool in like an open slide. For those of you who have been to like Aquatica, it'll be a lot like the, uh, the dolphin slide, if you will, but a little more intense coming out of a capsule. So that is uh, some excitement going on right there. We're not seeing a whole lot of different progress other than the trees and like minor infrastructure stuff I pointed out below on this end. Uh, just the trees and the temple structure, some roof structures going in place uh, just across there underneath that saucer slide which is Meku, the green one is Puhi, or Puhi. Again, not really good with the pronunciations, really sorry about that. So these were promised to be kind of the Eastern Island tubes. Uh, we'll see what we, uh, what we get name-wise once we get to check out the park on May 25th, the announced opening date. For Volcano Bay. From this spot uh, on Turkey Lake Road we can actually see another roof structure has gone into place. Really pretty design right here uh, and through there as I zoom in we're gonna see another roof structure uh, off in the distance on the property there. Hopefully we'll get a better look at that once we get to Cabana uh, Bay and an angle there. As we pull back out we're gonna take a look at Hanu and Aiko Moana. That's gonna be uh, the two slides, one is like just basically a family raft slide, the other is going to be a family raft slide. That's the, the half pipe we've been telling you all about. Panning back over to Krakatoa Mountain, here on like the front side that almost faces the entrance area, we see a lot more scaffolding still up on that side. Looks like they're just kind of conducting some minor detail work still on that end. Uh, but as we showed you earlier, a lot more scaffolding even coming down on the other side. Uh, week by week, day by day, we're seeing a lot more uh, come down in the scaffolding department. So we're going to walk on down here, 
see if we can get another angle of one more thing from Turkey Lake, and then we'll be on to Cabana Bay. Next up, and finally from Turkey Lake, uh, we can kind of see an orange and blue structure coming into place right here. That is actually the kids' splash area, which we believe will be called Runamucca Reef. Uh, notice the, a lot of the orange handrails, orange netting, and blue uh, platforms, like walking platforms, basically all through there. Again, we're going to get a much better look at this from Cabana Bay here in just a moment, but really exciting to finally see this going vertical. We actually showed you the platforms and was the first to tell you about those platforms uh, about three weeks ago uh, when they started arriving on property. So that was, that was really exciting and now it's uh, getting really exciting to see the uh, vertical work start on that. We saw some steel structure up for the past couple weeks and we're just waiting on the installation and now we have finally seen it. One more time looking at Krakatau Mountain before we conclude our look at from Turkey Lake Road. Uh, there again we just see the scaffolding in place. Uh, a lot of workers up there doing that detail work right there. And then that will be the mouth of the volcano. So next up we're going to head to Cabana Bay. And from there we will discover some of the entrance, a little more of the pathways, and perhaps some other surprises. We'll have to see what we find when we get there. Taking a look from Cabana Bay Hotel now. Uh, first off, we're starting with a look angled at the entrance area, a little far away. But we ha can see a roof covering has come into place here uh, with some flowers on it. Really cool, like some Polynesian style flowers, like a, you would get like a lay around your neck. Um, also, again, seeing that roof structure there, uh, it has like the th bamboo thatch in it now, but still no uh, roof vinyl like we're seeing over here. Uh, also back towards the entrance area, that rock work is still has scaffolding around it. Uh, would expect that to come down soon. There's a big pile of dirt, but through the trees there, actually more trees being installed by that pathway. Uh, through the trees there we see even more uh, pathway work. And then off to the distance there we see the end of those capsule slides that has gone have gone up. As well as that little pathway, we project as a pathway right there uh, to that little uh, stand. No vinyl on that one yet either for the rooftop. Uh, looks like more work to be done on those slides, possibly enclosed um, from this angle we could can't really tell, but they are white in color, so possibly enclosed uh, in some way, shape, or form. Taking a look from this angle now, we can see uh, Hanu and Aiko Moana right here, or Hanu Aiko Moana as it's now being uh, described on the website. You can see more water running here. Um, we've actually seen pictures have not been able to catch it ourselves yet of the slides testing with water dummies. Uh, so that's exciting to see that that's happening. Um, here we see the water just flowing through there. Um, there are some workers around, but it doesn't appear they're sending any tubes at the moment. Uh, as we take a look downward, we can see uh, another little booth coming into form. Also a, the start of the rooftop vinyl for that bridge we've been showing you for a few weeks now. Uh, no sign of any pathway, however, there is now wood boarding leading you all the way to the stairwell of these two slides. So we would expect to see some concrete work going in there very, very soon uh, for Hanu and Aiko Moana. Off in the distance, we see that rooftop structure we, told, we showed you from Turkey Lake uh, with the vinyl there all in place. And... Again, just that lazy river right underneath there, that's what that bridge goes over uh, to get you to the entrance to this slide. So that'll conclude our look from Hanu Aiko Moana. And next we'll be moving over to the other building to see what we can see on the wide shot of the main area of Volcano Bay, a little out of this corner. One of the most exciting angles we've seen today uh, coming here from Cabana Bay is this angle which shows you that um, what we think is Runamucca Reef going up. Again, uh, this is a little better angle than what we saw from Turkey Lake. Uh, the orange and blue, the blue panels which we've been telling you about, and then the orange handrails uh, with like a black framed netting there uh, going into place. Um, pretty wide footprint going in there. Uh, we'll have to see if this does indeed become Runamucca Reef. We should see some more structure going up like a big dump bucket or whatnot. Not quite sure what the design on that looks like other than what we've seen in the concept art. So that's definitely the most exciting thing from this angle. Also from this angle we notice 
Uh, the bridge there has been pretty much nearly completed. Don't think they're going to be putting a roof structure on that one, but could be wrong. Also, as we pull back out, we see some more vinyl roof coverings, uh, pathway progress all around the volcano here, and lots and lots more trees going into place. As we take a look at the volcano from this angle, again, that scaffold that we saw from Turkey Lake, but this is now straight on, uh, looking at that taller scaffolding side uh, up to the top of the mouth of the volcano. Next up, we will conclude with the entrance to Volcano Bay. Um, but taking one more wide shot look here, we can see the whole park. A little bit of sun glare happening right now, though. But very exciting to see the park coming along as nicely as it is. No action yet on the Krakatu, Krakatau Aqua Coaster just yet. But as we zoom in, we can see that it looks nearly completed. They should be testing that very soon if they haven't already. Taking a look at the entrance area now for Volcano Bay, uh, we see a lot more trees have gone in place along the roadside. Uh, we would project that's kind of to give it that isolated atmosphere uh, that people are going to want. They're not going to want to remember that the park is sitting right next to uh, Interstate 4, I-4, uh, here in Central Florida in Orlando. Also, we've seen a, another yellow structure start to really go in on top of the already established roof structure. We can imagine that's kind of more of a angled tiki hut type uh, setup. So maybe a double roof system going in there, maybe something more. Uh, we'll definitely have to wait and see what becomes of that. It could even be a cool vinyl covering. We can see some hooks for a lot of, we can see some hooks or holes there. Um, that could be for a vinyl covering as well. Um, looking at the general entrance area that we're seeing, again, just a lot more foliage, a lot more trees in place, uh, even from last week's to this week's changing. So uh, definitely a lot more to see here at the entrance to Volcano Bay. Closing out now with this angle of Volcano Bay, uh, we can see a little bit more of the side of the mountain, but I want to start down here at this pathway where we see some rock work uh, going into place right here uh, alongside the pathway, just some kind of like volcanic rock rising from the ground, if you will. Uh, definitely adds to that theming element. But off in the distance, we've actually discovered, even past this little booth here, we've discovered a temple now element. Now this temple element uh, looks to have like windows or something of some sort. Uh, not really sure. It does appear to be attached to Krakatau Mountain, but there in the background we can see Maku and uh, Puhi. Puhi in the green on the right there, and a little bit of Mako, Maku, uh, Maku uh, on the right in the yellow. Also past that we see some of the more rooftops, possibly for a restaurant there in that corner of the park. And another look at some of the slides coming off of the volcano, as well as another little slide complex. That could be for the kids area, Tot Tiki Reef. Um, Tot Tiki Reef could be where those orange and blue platforms we showed you before. Now as we pan back over here, we're going to take a closer look at the entrance. Um, as we see the entrance coming into form, uh, we actually have discovered some more uh, facade paneling for rock work over here just arriving. Uh, and again, a look at that foliage as well uh, to hide the park. So that's going to conclude our look at Volcano Bay at Universal Orlando Resort. I want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch the video, following along with all of our videos, giving us all of your support and all your comments. We love hearing them. We love the feedback. Uh, my name's Jim from WildGravityTravels.com. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. Have a great day and week ahead, everyone. We'll see you next week.